Hi guys, it's Heather from Heather Cristo, and today we are making zucchini donuts with a vanilla espresso glaze. Yum! They're also vegan and gluten-free, so you kind of can't do better than that. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get started. First, we wanna start with coconut milk and apple cider vinegar. And I know that sounds crazy, but I'm basically making a faux buttermilk that is gonna help to keep those donuts really tender. So I just add about two tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar, and then I'm gonna let it kind of sit and curdle while I do everything else. We've got gluten-free flour here, and I like to use a gluten-free all-purpose baking flour blend, and Bob's Red Mill is kind of my go-to staple. I've got a half a cup of sugar, so considering we're making donuts, that's not really so offensive, right? This is a combination of baking powder and baking soda and kosher salt that I'm gonna sprinkle in. And then we've got some cinnamon and nutmeg, which just helps to bring out the flavor of the zucchini and adds a nice spice and warm flavor to it. Okay, I'm gonna stir around all of these dry ingredients. And then I've got my shredded zucchini here, you guys, which I just took a fresh zucchini and it was about one large. And I used a box grater like that you would grate cheese with. Super easy, it took, you know, 30 seconds on there. Give me a little arm workout too. I'm gonna add that and just let it kind of start to soak up the dry ingredients. And then I like to add, this is two tablespoons of melted coconut oil. I like to add that before I add our faux buttermilk so that the oil doesn't separate. It makes it just a little bit harder to work in. So also two tablespoons of oil, you guys, and we're gonna bake them. So these are actually really low in fat. Okay, now we're gonna add our faux buttermilk and get everything really well mixed. And just so you know, this is a thick batter. So don't feel worried like you're missing moisture. It's supposed to be that way. Just an FYI, I found that a spatula is definitely the right way to go. You do not want to use a whisk or you kind of get a big mess. This is looking pretty good. Now here's one of my tips for not having a mess making donuts because it'd be really hard to get this into these in any kind of normal fashion, right? I'm gonna take a Ziploc bag and just fold over the top and then stuff it into a drinking glass and then pour my batter in this way. This is a great tip for anything like this, frosting, batters. And then we'll just seal this up, get rid of the cup, and then we're all ready to pipe. So as I get ready to do this, I want to take my donut pan, and this happens to be a large donut pan, and I'm just spraying it with coconut oil. We don't want them to stick. Okay, snip. And look at these perfectly pipe in here. And I love that it keeps everything clean. And then I would just pop this in my oven, which has been preheated to 350 degrees. And these are gonna bake about eight to 10 minutes. There we go. Don't be fooled, I know they look a little lumpy on this side, but as we turn them out, they're pretty smooth on the other side. And once they get a nice coating of glaze on them, they're gonna look perfect. So I'm gonna let these cool while I make my glaze. And this is um, some powdered sugar. And then in here I've got espresso, which is not quite cold. It's still a little warm, so it'll really help to kind of melt into this powdered sugar and you just wanna work it in with trying not to make too big a mess. Okay, this is looking pretty good. So now what I'm gonna do is add some vanilla. If you're using plain extract, just use a little bit, like a half a teaspoon. This is vanilla bean paste, actually, which is a little bit thicker, so I can use a little bit more. And they just suspend all the vanilla bean seeds in a paste. It has a really intense vanilla flavor, and then you'll see it leaves like a little speckle in the glaze, which I think is beautiful. Okay, so now that these donuts have cooled, you could either drizzle it over the top, or I like to go for a full dunk, actually usually a double dunk. So I'll just take my donut with the smooth side up and pop it in the glaze. And you can do kind of a twirling motion to help get the excess off. There you go, here we've got baked zucchini donuts with a vanilla espresso glaze, kind of the ultimate summer morning breakfast, 
or afternoon snack because you're getting your coffee and your baked good all in one. I hope you're gonna love them as much as my family and I do. And for the full recipe, head on over to the blog.